Irma hit Florida, the tropics have stayed very active. Meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler joins us now with his eyes on three different systems. Jeremy? Yeah, you know, all these tropical systems, uh, we've had some rough waters. This is what it looks like right now. Nags Head Pier over the Outer Banks. I mean, lots of rough chop. We got some pretty big waves coming in. May not appear so at the moment. There you go. Maybe a bit of a glimpse of that, but we're going to see this even more as the sun gets a little higher in the sky. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to local beaches today, you're not going to be swimming. It's just too dangerous. And uh, so we've got Hurricane Jose, which we'll track here in a moment. Hurricane Maria gaining strength near the Lesser Antilles and Tropical Depression. Lee is falling apart. We've already tracked that one. The good news is it looks like Lee is we or pardon me, Jose is weakening even more. As uh, the clouds don't look that impressive right now, which is a good thing. The winds have come down officially 85 miles an hour, and it's off to our uh, east southeast by about 250 to 300 miles. So here's the latest information. It tracks to the north as a category one hurricane. This will be tomorrow morning, 80 mile per hour winds. And I wonder if it's uh, going to be a little bit less than that based off the latest satellite. We'll see, but it does pass offshore, moves to the north, and then moves northeast for a while as a tropical storm. And then as a nor'easter, it just kind of sits in this zone for a while. It might get very close to Cape Cod, so that's something that uh, we'll be tracking. This is into Saturday at the latest. Here's the latest computer models, and they all are in pretty good agreement that it's going to go northward, but they do a couple anyway, try and bring it back to the west, bring it closer to maybe New Jersey. Uh, there's a couple which take it well offshore, and a couple more which just have it falling apart over the ocean. I think right now it's mostly favored to just sit in this zone and fall apart and weaken over the cooler waters. So locally we'll have some impacts. We'll have scattered showers. You know, it might pick up a little bit along the coast. If that were to happen, we might see uh, maybe an inch or more. But right now, it looks like less than an inch of rain for our region. Waves 6 to 12 feet. They'll be picking up over the next 24 hours. Along the coast, we'll have some gusts and winds up to about 30 miles an hour. That's more for tonight and tomorrow. Today, gust to 25. And then the rest of the area, gust to 20. I mean, it's not going to be that bad. We'll have a pretty nice breeze, actually. There'll be some minor tidal flooding and some beach erosion possible. Here's the latest tidal forecast for Sewell's Point, representative of Lower Chesapeake Bay. 4.7 feet for tomorrow morning. That'll be the uh, where we get to minor. Today it's just some nuisance, but minor tidal flooding at that point. 4.5 feet Tuesday evening, and then some nuisance tidal flooding as we go to Wednesday. So Tuesday will be the tidal flooding. It's mostly minor. As a matter of fact, a lot of the region, it's nuisance to minor. It's not too bad. That's all from Jose. Here's Maria. Winds of 90 miles an hour. It's close to the Lesser Antilles, and unfortunately, it's going to roll over some areas that were spared by Irma last time. It's south of Antigua and Barbuda, and it's going to, uh, however, impact Puerto Rico, maybe as a Category 4 hurricane. Look at that, 140 mile an hour wind. So Puerto Rico already recovering from Irma. Now they're probably going to get a worse hurricane and most likely over that region. Then it moves towards the Bahamas. It looks like it'll uh, pass offshore after that point, but we still want to watch it. It will try and get a little closer to the United States, and so we'll watch that over the next few days. Jose out to sea. There's a stationary front in between us and an area of high pressure off to the west. The stationary front might cause a few showers itself, and here they are offshore, but a couple of these will try and roll over towards us as we go through the day. So some drizzle this morning, pockets of drizzle. We see some scattered showers developing this afternoon coming in from the ocean. There you go, picks up a little bit between 3 and 6, and then some more scattered showers, especially along the coast tomorrow. And our model keeps the rain going for a long time. If that were to happen, we'll add up the rain totals. But right now, again, I think it's going to be more scattered coming in from the ocean and occasional bands, outer bands. So highs today will be in the 70s mostly. We get scattered showers. Northeast winds 10 to 15, gust to 25. Tonight, tomorrow, the winds will pick up a little bit more. So breezy for the next couple of days, scattered showers. And then things look great Wednesday onward into the weekend. The weather looks great. But we'll be tracking the tropics still, even at that point. Maria will still be out there.